Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is Animal Kingdom. Question number 1. Which class has the largest number of animals? Option A. Fishes. Option B. Reptiles. Option C. Insects. Option D. Mammals. The correct answer is Option C. Insects. In terms of numbers of species, insects certainly represent the largest percentage of the world's organisms. There are more than 1 million species of insects that have been documented and studied by scientists. And the total number of documented species of living organisms at the present time is probably about 2.5 million. So, insects represent about 40% of all known living species. Question number 2. Salamander belongs to the class. Option A. Pisces. Option B. Aves. Option C. Reptiles. Option D. Amphibian. The correct answer is. Option D. Amphibian. Salamanders belong to amphibians as they can survive on water and land both and they are cold-blooded. They have moist skin. They have pentadactyl limbs. Question number 3. Flame cells are the excretory structures for Option A. Annelida Option B. Cylinterates Option C. Platyhelminthes Option D. Echinodermata The correct answer is Option C. Platyhelminthes A flame cell is a specialized excretory cell found in the simplest freshwater invertebrates, including platyhelminthes. Flame cells function like a kidney and remove waste materials. Bundles of flame cells are called protonephridia. Flame cells function on the basis of filtration and resorption. Question number 4. Classification of phylum porifera is based upon Option A. Nutrition Option B. Spicules Option C. Locomotion Option D. Reproduction The correct answer is Option B. Spicules. Porifera is the phylum composed of the sponges. These organisms have the body composed of any minute paws. The classification of phylum porifera is based upon the spicules. They are divided into three classes. The class Calcarea, class Hexactinellida, class Demospongi. Question number 5. In sponges, canal system develops due to. Option A. Gastrovascular system. Option B. Folding of inner walls. Option C. Porous walls. Option D. Reproduction. The correct answer is Option B. Folding of inner walls. The canal system in sponges develops due to the folding of body wall. Three types of canal systems in sponges are Ascon type, Sikin type, and Leucon type. Leucon type of canal system is most advanced and develops by folding of the body wall. Ascon type of canal system is most primitive and shows minimal folding. Question number 6. Which group does not contain polyp? Option A. Hydrozoa. Option B. Cyphozoa. Option C. Anthozoa. Option D. Calcarea. The correct answer is. Option D. Calcarea, Hydrozoa, Cyphozoa, and Anthozoa are classes of the Cnidarians or Coenlenterata that all have similar body morphology with a polyp and or medusa. The class Calcarea consists of sponges from the phylum Porifera whose body is covered with a calcareous shell and spicules but no polyp. Question number 7. Ascaris is characterized by Option A. Presence of true coelom but absence of metamerism. Option B. Presence of true coelom and metamerism, metamerization. Option C. Absence of true coelom but presence of metamerism. Option D. Presence of neither true coelom nor metamerism. The correct answer is. Option D. Presence of neither true coelom nor metamerism. Ascaris belongs to phylum Ascalminthes. It lacks a true coelom, possesses pseudocoelom and body is not metamerically segmented. Question number 8. 
Which of the following characters is not typical to class mammalia? Option A. Alveolar lungs. Option B. 7 cervical vertebrae. Option C. 10 pairs of cranial nerves. Option D. Both A and B. The correct answer is. Option D. Both A and B. Most of the mammals are terrestrial animals which breathe through lungs. Lungs are alveolar in nature comprised of a number of small bags called alveoli. All mammals whether camel or whale or giraffe or man have 7 cervical vertebrae. Mammals have 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Question number 9. Periplaneta belongs to which phylum? Option A. Mollusca. Option B. Anthropoda. Option C. Annelida. Option D. Echinodermata. The correct answer is. Option B. Anthropoda. Kingdom. Animalia. Phylum. Anthropoda. Class. Insecta. Order. Blatodia. Family. Blackidae. Genus. Periplaneta. Question number 10. Radial symmetries found in. Option A. Coelenterata and Platyhelminthes. Option B. Coelenterata and Echinodermata. Option C. Anthropoda and Mollusca. Option D. Porifera and Coelenterata. The correct answer is. Option B. Coelenterata and Echinodermata. Radial symmetry is the symmetrical arrangement of parts of an organism around a single main axis so that the organism can be divided into similar halves by any plane that contains the main axis. It is observed in cilentrates and echinoderms. Question number 11. Which of the following represents the order of horse? Option A. Ferris. Option B. Equidae. Option C. Perisodactyla. Option D. Cabalus. The correct answer is. Option C. Perisodactyla. Classification of horses as follows. Kingdom. Animalia. Phylum. Chordata. Order. Perisodactyla. Autos. Rhinos. Taper. And horses belong to order Perisodactyla because they possess odd toes. Question number 12. An important characteristic that hemichordates share with chordates is. Option A. Pharynx without gill slits. Option B. Absence of notochord. Option C. Ventral tubular nerve cord. Option D. Pharynx with gill slits. The correct answer is. Option D. Pharynx with gill slits. The animal belongs to phylum chordata is characterized by the presence of the notochord, dorsal hollow nerve cord, and pharyngeal nerve gill slit. Hemichordata is the phylum of an animal that shows the half characters of the chordata such as pharyngeal gill slits. Question number 13. Which among these is the correct combination of aquatic mammals? Option A. Trigon, whales, seals. Option B. Seals, dolphins, sharks. Option C. Dolphins, seals, trigon. Option D. Whales. Dolphins, seals. The correct answer is Option D. Whales, dolphins, seals. The class mammalia is characterized by the presence of hair, diaphragm, mammary glands, and three specialized bones in the middle ear. Whales, dolphins, and seals are aquatic in habitat. However, they show the presence of mammary glands to nourish their young ones. They are warm-blooded and breath with the help of the lungs. Question number 14. In case of peripherence, the spongus is lined with flagellated cells called as. Option A. Mesenchymal cells. Option B. Ostea. Option C. Oscular. Option D. Quanocytes. The correct answer is. Option D. Quanocytes. Spongus is a large central cavity in the sponges. Water enters through the numerous ostium in the cavity and exit by a central pore known as osculum. Quanocytes are the flagellated cells that line the spongus. It helps to set up water current and helps in the intake of food. Question number 15. Choose the correct statement. Option A. All mammals are viviparous. Option B. All cyclostomes do not possess 
jaws and paired fins. Option C. All reptiles have a three-chambered heart. Option D. All Pisces have gills covered by an operculum. The correct answer is Option B. All cyclostomes do not possess jaws and paired fins. 1. All mammals are not viviparous. 4. Species of echidna and the platypus are oviparous. 2. All cyclostomes are jawless and lack paired fins. 3. Crocodile is a reptile but has a four chambered heart, unlike all other reptiles. 4. Only the member of osteichthyes have gills covered by operculum while members of chondrichthyes lack operculum. So, the correct option is all cyclostomes do not possess jaws and paired fins. Question number 16. Which one of the following characteristics are not shared by birds and mammals? Option A. Ossified endoskeleton. Option B. Breathing using lungs. Option C. Viviparity. Option D. Warm-blooded nature. The correct answer is. Option C. Viviparity. Viviparity is not shared by birds and mammals. Giving birth to living young that develop within the mother's body rather than hatching from eggs are called as viviparity. Birds are oviparous and mammals are viviparous. Question number 17. Which of the following features is not present in the phylum Anthropoda? Option A. Chitinous exoskeleton. Option B. Metameric segmentation. Option C. Parapodia. Option D. Jointed appendages. The correct answer is Option C. Parapodia. Option A is incorrect arthropods that have a rigid chitinous exoskeleton that covers their complete body. Option B is incorrect as arthropods are characterized by the segmented body with repetitions of organs and tissues at an interval that is metameric segmentation. Option D is incorrect as they have paired, jointed appendages to perform different functions. Option C is correct as parapodia are fleshy paired appendages of annelids. Question number 18. Select the taxon mentioned that represents both marine and freshwater species. Option A. Ctenophora. Option B. Cephalocordata. Option C. Nidaria. Option D. Echinodermata. The correct answer is. Option C. Nidaria. Nidarians are aquatic, mostly marine, solitary or colonial sessile or free-swimming radially symmetry animals while members of Ptenophora, Cephalocordata, Echinodermata are found exclusively in the marine environment. Question number 19. Which one of the following living organisms completely lacks a cell wall? Option A. Cyanobacteria. Option B. C. Fan. Gorgonia. Option C. Saccharomyces. Option D. Blue-green algae. The correct answer is. Option B. C. Fan. Gorgonia. Gorgonia belongs to the Nidaria class Anthozoa, animal. Gorgonians are also known as sea whips or sea fans and are similar to the sea pen, a soft coral. These marine invertebrates are multicellular, have no cell walls, a characteristic of plants, most have tissues, organized groups of cells, and all are heterotrophic, that is they cannot manufacture their own food and depend on other organisms for nutrition. Question number 20. What will you look for to identify the sex of the following? Option A. Male shark, claspers born on pelvic fins. Option B. Female ascaris, sharply curved posterior end. Option C. Male frog, a copulatory pad on the first digit of the Hindu limb. Option D. Female cockroach, anal sussy. The correct answer is. Option A. Male shark, claspers born on pelvic fins. Male sharks have paired intermittent organs, called claspers. Claspers are modifications of the pelvic fins and located on the inner margins of the pelvic fins. The male ascaris possess the curled posterior end, while females have a straight posterior end. Male frogs can be distinguished by the presence of sound-producing vocal sacs and a copulatory pad on the first digit of the forelimbs not hinder limbs, which are absent in female frogs. 
Anal cerci are a pair of appendages at the end of the abdomen, arising from near the 10th segment of the body, present in both males and females. Males possess anal style, which is absent in females. Question number 21. One example of animals having a single opening to the outside that serves both as mouth as well as the anus is. Option A. Asterius. Option B. Acidia. Option C. Fasciola. Option D. Octopus. The correct answer is. Option C. Fasciola. Question number 22. Which one of the following statements about all the four of Spengilla, Leech, Dolphin, and Penguin is correct? Option A. All are bilaterally symmetrical. Option B. Penguin is homeothermic while the remaining three are poikilothermic. Option C. Leech is a freshwater form while all other are marine. Option D. Spangilla has special collared cells called quinocytes, not found in the remaining three. The correct answer is. Option D. Spangilla has special collared cells called quinocytes, not found in the remaining three. The body of a sponge is cylindrical, asymmetrical, or has radial symmetry whereas leech, dolphin, and penguin have bilateral symmetry. Dolphin is homeothermic. Dolphin belongs to flightless birds and they have the ability to maintain body temperature. Sponges are aquatic animals. They can be marine or freshwater. Sponges possess quinocytes or flagellated cells and help in the ingestion of food particles. Question number 23. Which one of the following kinds of animals is triploblastic? Option A. Corals. Option B. Flatworms. Option C. Sponges. Option D. Tenophores. The correct answer is. Option B. Flatworms. Depending on the number of germ layers, the animals have been categorized into the following two types. Diploblastic animals. These animals have two germ layers, outer ectoderm and inner endoderm. Triploblastic animals. These animals comprise three germ layers, outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm, and inner endoderm. Examples. Flatworms, annelids, mammals, etc. Question number 24. Which one of the following statements about certain given animals is correct? Option A. Flatworms, platyhelminthes, arcoelamates. Option B. Roundworms, ashelminths, aswedocelamates. Option C. Mollusks and acoelamates. Option D. Insects and pseudocelamates. The correct answer is. Option B. Roundworms, ashelminths, are pseudocelamates. Platyhelminthes are echoelamates. Mollusks and insects are coelamates. Roundworms, ascalminthes, are pseudocoelamates. If the body cavity occupies a space between mesoderm of the body wall and endoderm of the gut is called as pseudocoelom. It is a fluid filled cavity. Question number 25. Which one of the following groups of animals is bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic? Option A. Sponges. Option B. Coelentrates. Cnidarians. Option C. Escalminthes. Roundworms. Option D. Tenophores. The correct answer is. Option C. Escalminthes. Roundworms. The Aschelminths group of animals which are also known as the nematelmins or nematodes or roundworms, are bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic animals. Examples of roundworms are, Ascaris, the common roundworm, Ancylostoma, the common hookworm, Wusheria, the filarial worm, etc. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.